Hey, yeah. Uh, in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to um, set up a UTM tracking um, system for your ad campaigns as a digital marketer. You know, tracking is the number one um, element we really need in our, in our ad campaigns. You know, if you don't know where your potential subscribers and members are coming from, then how can you optimize and scale your business? You know, it's, it's fundamental. So it's, yeah, I couldn't highly recommend, you know, going through this video, um, following the steps that I'm about to show you, you know, they're very, very straightforward. Um, so what I'm going to show you is two methods to do this. And the first one is on the exclusive and private mentors platform, which you should be seeing now on your screen. Um, the other one is very, very similar, but that's using the Google analytics, um, equivalent of the UTM builder. So yeah, um, it's, it's quite straightforward. It's not too technical, um, but I'll, I'll give you the simple steps to, to make sure you're, you're tracking correctly. Um, as I said, it's, it's vital. You, you have to track um, your ad campaigns, no matter what platform you're on, whether it's on Facebook, Google, YouTube, um, you know, the same principle applies. As long as you know where your, your leads and your members are coming from, then you're in a position to optimize and scale those campaigns. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to show you now is using the mentors platform, how you get into this UTM tool. So if you come up to the top menu, which you should be familiar now with, if you've seen my other videos, um, yeah, so come up to the top DBL tool suite, uh, come straight down on the tools, UTM builder, and it should open this, um, this page here. As you can see, UTM is an urchin tracking module, which basically is a piece of code that um, is attached to your, the end of your URL link. Um, yeah, and as it says here, it allows you to measure where your traffic is coming from um, with you know, plenty of information. So the more information you put into your, um, these, these boxes here, then yeah, the easier it's going to be for you to understand where people came from. So yeah, as you can see, there are six um, text fields. Um, the first is URL. That's basically yeah, your, either your website or your landing page. I think I've got mine on the, my clipboard. He says, yep. <laughs> um, so I've got like my workshop series in there. So your campaign name is just, yeah, the name you're actually setting up to identify your campaign, whether it's in YouTube, Google, Facebook. So again, it could, this can be anything you want, as long as you've got a, a strategy of how you're, you're naming your campaigns, like a naming convention. So what I'll put is maybe the lake dash one dot zero, because my current ad that I've got is where I, when I was, when I was filmed, filming next to a lake. So I'm just, you know, that's really my campaign. Um, if I do another campaign with that, that video, then I'll probably put the lake 1.1 or something like that. But yeah, as long as I know, um, which campaign is which then yeah, it, it makes life easier. So the source is, um, again, the platform, so it can be Google, um, Facebook, YouTube newsletter. So for me, it's just YouTube. It's all I'm focusing on at the moment. Um, campaign medium. Again, this is your marketing strategy. So if it's um, paid traffic, it's typically CPC. Um, again, you've got a banner option or email. So I would always put CPC for my YouTube ads. Uh, campaign term, again, this is an, another optional, but the more information you give, the easier it's gonna be to understand where people came from. So um, this one is really down to your targeting. Um, so for me in YouTube, I generally do uh, keywords. Um, I can do topics. Um, if I want to put my ad in front of a particular video that someone's going to be watching, then that's placements. But generally, I'm using keywords. So again, I would just put uh, keywords in there. Um, you can put in brackets like specific keywords or you know online business or meditation, you, you can put more information here if you want afterwards. 
um, on mine be UX. It really does come down to what you want, how much information you want to put in here. So, it, you know, it's the more information, the better. Um, campaign content, again, is an optional field. But again, more information, the better. This one, I typically just put in the ad name. So again, this was an ad that I did in late, and I think I've actually called my video on YouTube um, just the lake or something like that. Um, if I did it in, in this office, I'd probably just call it um, online business, the office or something like that. But again, it's just as much information as you, you can get in there. Um, it's, it really is for your own benefit as, as the owner of the business. So you can see exactly where people are coming from. It, there's no right or wrong, but as long as you have that um, UTM builder naming convention, then it makes life so much easier. So as you can see, as I've been populating these fields, um, this section here has just been populating this customized URL. So it's a customized link that the potential subscriber will be clicking on. So that's the link you provide in your ad. Um, so what you want to do here is, yeah, click to copy this um, code. It copies it to the clipboard. So what I do then is just verify that it, this link is working. It's it's valid. It, it goes to where I want it to go. So it should be my landing page. So I'll open a new tab, put that into the address, the address bar. Um, you can see all the information is up there. Again, UTM source, YouTube, UTM medium CPC, UTM campaign, the lake 1.0, UTM term, keyword online business, UTM content, the lake. So it's it's it looks fine the way it is. And you'll notice the way every parameter is separated by an ampersand. That that's standard. That's what you expect. So yeah, all looking good. So hit just hit return. And it should come to my current landing page, which it has. Brilliant. So to me, that's sort of verified that the landing page with this, cust you know, and I was working with this customized link. So that's what I would copy then into my campaign in the um, link in the final URL. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, so the other method is very, very similar to this. And it's actually Google Analytics own version. So I've just opened this in a separate tab already, but you can just Google UTM Builder Google, and it's, I think it's the first option. Um, so you, you come to this page, again, very, very similar. I think it's got the same six or seven, uh, six um, fields. Again, you put in the same information. Um, yeah, so URL, source, medium, name, term, um so i can do that now so i'm just thinking about the um, so let me just come back to here i'll copy this pretty much same information copy my url so same um landing page source again is youtube uh medium cpc campaign name. Um, if I want to choose maybe a different, say if I'm doing a different campaign and I decide to use the Google Analytics um, tool, um, I might make it the lake 1.1, let's say. Lake 1.1. And again, I might do maybe a different set of keywords. Keywords. I can spell. <laughs> Might do this based around motivational keywords, something like that. At least I know then this these two campaigns are very different. One's for online business, one's for motivation. Um, so again, this really does highlight the fact that they're very different. <laughs> um, content again, just same video so again put the same name the leg so very similar to the mentors platform um it, it, it populates this customized url down the bottom so again click the copy url button go up to a new tab just put that into the address bar 
And again, you'll see the same information, the same format um, in, the, in the toolbar, but you've got the late 1.1 and keyword motivation. And again, content is a late. So again, that looks the way I want it to do. So I'll hit return. It may come to my other landing page because I've got a split test on the moment, which it has. So that's B. So, so now it actually works. So you, you can actually see that the same URL is, is going to both A and B landing pages in my split testing. So, but I, I can do another video of what a split test is, but I'm basically just comparing two different landing pages. Um, so again, I'm happy with all that. Um, both landing pages are being, being um, requested. So again, happy to, that it's not just going to one, it's, it's actually using both of my AB landing pages. I hope you got all that information. Um, my laptop has just um, decided to crash for some reason. So yeah, the recording stopped, but um, yeah, hope that information got through to you okay and it made sense. Um, yeah, so just to summarize, um, I provided you with just the step-by-step -step instructions how to build um, a UTM builder using the Mentors platform and also the Google Analytics version. You know, they're very, very similar, pretty much identical, just put in the um, the six parameters for your campaign and it allows you to track exactly where your subscribers and your members come from so yeah like i said it's, it's vitally important that you do it and yeah i hope that has helped that video um i'll probably do more videos like this um you know in the next few days um just to give you that extra value if you are looking at starting out on in the digital economy as a as an entrepreneur um you know i want to give you these little step-by-step -step guides just to help with the you know the technical difficulties that you might be facing but um yeah now that that utm builder is is very important and it's it, it's it's built in within the the mentors platform so yeah like i said if you're interested in becoming a digital entrepreneur please become a member within mentors because you know you've got all the tools and technology that you need um within here um everything is in in under one roof there may be one or two bits of software that you might need that are external such as like the email marketing um tool but again all that information is provided we, we share with you you know where where you need to go and what you need to do so but everything is in one place um within mentors platform it, this is a private and exclusive platform to help you grow and develop in the growing digital economy. Because, you know, when I started the end of 2018, early 19, you know, I, I couldn't believe what was in front of me, what potential was out there um, in the internet, on the internet, sorry. Um, you know, I've, I've, I'm just tapping into it now. I'm still learning every single day. So everything I'm learning, I'm, I'm trying to share with you um so make your life easier so yeah i just i just hope that you know this utm builder guide has helped you um with your journey in the economy but yeah i highly recommend coming on to the mentors platform um you won't be alone you're not alone there's so many there's tens of thousands of people here in the community and it's just incredible it's powerful um the digital economy is is where you need to be if you want to have sustainable profitable business where you're self-sufficient so reliant then there's no other place to be um you know i yeah I, I can't speak highly enough of this platform this community it really has transformed my life and i'm very grateful for it um but again yeah i hope you enjoy this video um and i'll see you soon in the next one take care